this is cube series plc this is power supply for the plc this is main cpu model q03 udv cpu okay this is sd card slot this is toggle switch for run reset the ethernet cable is connected to the ethernet switch and the switch is again connected to the fx5 plc okay so we will communicate uh, this q series plc to the 5 uh, fx5 plc with the help of this cc link i protocol okay over the ethernet in this video we will communicate q series plc to fx5 uh, plc through ethernet okay so uh, we are not going to connect any additional model to the uh, q plc or uh, 5 u plc we will use the inbuilt ethernet uh, port which is in uh, q uh, cpu and the fx5 u cpu okay so the basically uh, we need two software uh, first one is uh, works 2 for uh, q series plc and second one is works 3 for fx5 uh, u plc okay so first we will write the program for q series plc okay in q uh, series plc uh, this is the program for the communication and first of all we we need to do some uh, parameter setting uh, in q series plc so go to uh, plc parameter okay so in uh, built in ethernet port setting this is our q series plc ethernet uh, ip address okay 192.168.3.39 now uh, we have to select the ascii mode here communication data code is ascii mode then go to the open setting so here you have to select the tcp protocol then socket communication tcp con uh, connection is active then 8192 is a uh, uh, host station port number and uh, this ip address is for the fx5 plc means uh, Q, uh, Q series PLC is going to connect to the FX5 PLC and this IP address we will use for the uh, FX5 PLC. Okay. Then same again, port number is for the destination is uh, 8192. Okay. Just click on end. End. Uh, check. There is no error. Then click on end. Uh, now let's do the program for the FX5 uh, uh, UPLC, okay? So open the works 3. So in works 3, uh, we have to do the some setting in Ethernet port. So go to the 5U CPU module parameter Ethernet port. Okay, so here may uh, here is the IP address of our 5U PLC. Then go to this uh, external device configuration. So here uh, add the full passive connection from here this is full passive connection okay so you have to just drag this and drop here then uh, select the protocol socket communication socket communication then this is the IP address of host means this we will see then port number is 8192 which uh, we recently entered in Q series parameter and now this is the Q series PLC IP address and this is the port number 8192 okay then close with the reflecting the setting then check and apply okay so uh, this is the program so first uh, we have taken one timer uh, this program is available in the manual of the socket communication okay so timer is there then uh, from the timer we have uh, output the m700 okay so basically now uh, the second is a connection open program so this is the uh, for the connection open program okay i will attach the program uh, in the uh, video Okay, comment list.
ओके सो सॉकेट ओपन कम्युनिकेशन देन दिस इज दवर कनेक्शन नंबर वन एंड दिस डी टेन इज फॉर द कंट्रोल रेजिस्टर एंड डी टेन एंड एलेवन टू रेजिस्टर्स विल बी यूज हेयर ओके देन दिस एम एट हंड्रेड विल गिव द एम एट जीरो वन विल गिव द फीडबैक रिटर्न फीडबैक ओके सो इफ दिस इज द दिस फीडबैक इज प्रेजेंट देन देर इज अ कनेक्शन एरर एंड इफ एट जीरो वन इज ऑफ देन देर इज नो कनेक्शन एरर सो दिस विल दिस बीट विल शोज द कम्युनिकेशन एरर और नॉट ओके देन दिस प्रोग्राम इज फॉर द डेटा सेंड प्रोसेसिंग ओके सो टू सेंड डेटा we have written uh, written the instruction for the socket send okay so uh, d4000 uh, uh, we are going to send the 100 uh, register okay 100 register data to the fx5u then uh, that's why i have moved the k100 in d4000 so d4000 uh, from d4000 to d4100 data will move to the fx5u plc okay so in the in this list i will show you so this is a q series to fx series uh, send data so in q series uh, we have written the d4000 in the send instruction this is our socket send instruction so here we have taken the d4000 okay so from d4000 to 100 register up to d4099 so the 100 register will be overwrite in the fx5 plc for this i will show you in uh, uh, next part of video okay so here uh, this is uh, this program is for the send okay send data and uh, if you take here uh, m720 uh, bit then 721 will give the feedback return feedback to us so if it is off then there is no error for the send data if this bit is on then there is a send error okay so you can take this bit as a send error bit alarm so this was the for the send data now uh, let's uh, see the program for the data receive okay so this is this uh, this program is for the data receive so here uh, socket receive instruction and this uh, d30 is for control register uh, so not uh, any use of this uh, d30 d30 and d31 two resistors will be used and uh, now d4500 uh, in uh, d1500 uh, we will receive the data from fx5 plc and then again same m730 uh, is the flag completion flag then m731 will give the feedback return feedback then uh, based on this uh, we can give the alarm error or not error then now last part is close uh, connection close so this is connection close program so here we have closed the socket communication okay and uh, same again yeah, no error and if there is any error close communication then this flag will be on so this was basically uh, the program for the q series i will give the pdf of this program or uh, program copy in description google link will be there google drive link okay so now let's check for the uh, q uh, sorry uh, fx5 plc program okay so in works 3 this is simple for uh, receive uh, receive uh, 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 this is a receive instruction so in this uh, we will receive the data in d500 okay so whatever you have sent in you can check in q series whatever you have sent in uh, d4000 it will go to the d500 okay and uh, one more thing so this uh, first uh, d4000 uh, uh, in d4000 we move the 100 uh, because we are going to send the 100 data so this first re register is always for set length data okay now in works 3 so you we will receive the data in d500 okay 
then again same procedure this is the completion flag if it is uh, off then there is no error if this flag is on then there is a receive error okay then again this uh, this is for send socket uh, instruction so uh, in d1000 data will be sent to the uh, q series plc so from d1000 to uh, 100 we have sent the 100 data here you can see uh, i have moved the 100 in d1000 means 100 data will be sent from d1000 to d1099 okay this is simple program for the communication so now we will check how data is uh, exchange so let's go online okay first uh, we will write data from q series to fx5 u so in our q series okay in q series uh, we will uh, write the data in 4000 okay so let's monitor here 4000 so we'll all turn off all rest bit okay so from uh, this uh, 4000 to 4099 this data will move to the in uh, works uh, fx5 plc in d500 so received it we are receiving data in d500 here right so here we will check for d500 okay so now in fx plc uh, sorry in q plc in d4000 uh, 4001 will write value of suppose k15 okay so d4001 15 value is there so you can check here in 5 in 5 uplc we have 15 here right so let's check another one suppose uh, in 4010 let's take k to 2 okay the 4010 22 value is there so let's check in uh, 5 uplc here 22 right so in this way 100 register uh, data will move to uh, from 4000 to now let's uh, move the value in d4099 value is k88 so let's check in uh, kfx5 plc in 599 okay so here zero four zero ninety nine okay i think uh, is it taking hundred bit let me check so suppose here uh, in 4 0 and 32 we will put 88 ok now check in q series a fx series
here you can see the 52 is 88 right so let's check further in 4050 we'll set the 90 suppose okay, 405090 so here 55090 <coughs> so in this way we can uh, send the data from q series to 5 u now uh, let's check vice versa from 5 u to q series okay so uh, in 5 u we will put the value in d1000 right d1000 now uh, in q series the data will receive in this is socket receive instruction so data will receive in 4500 so here 4500 okay so here you can check suppose now this is 1 1 right d1002 so we will turn off this bit now this is 0 1002 and this is uh, 450 to 0 right so let's uh, turn off this as well you can see uh, this is also turn off okay so now in uh, suppose d1010 let's turn on first bit so value is 1 turn on second bit the value is 3 so in d1010 so here in 4510 the value is 3 suppose i uh, again now here in 10 suppose 20 the value is minus 32 767 so here you can check minus 32 767 okay so in this way uh, we have communicated to the uh, QPLC to FX PLC and FX to the QPLC. So basically, we exchange the data from uh, D4000 to FX5 U D500 and from FX5 U D1000 to Q series FX4500. And this first register is uh, used for the number of same data length. So from uh, this first register, uh, we have to move the number of length, uh, same data length. And from here we can use the data to share the data okay thank you